I'm back from the European tour. Man, it was exciting. It was a great time. The band was kicking. The audiences were kicking. It was such a great time to be over there. And now it's a great time to be back. And I'm on the plane flying home thinking, what am I going to do for this, this episode? And you know, it hit me. You know, I was playing a lot of a lot of mixture of blues and some fusion and some little jazz and I thought well you know there's the differences between the genres and yet there's so much similarities with the different genres so I think what I'm gonna do is talk about two different artists totally different artists but yet having the same ideas and the same concept using scales and uh, uh, simple, even very simple uh, uh, melody lines that come from simple blues, scale notes, or even major pentatonic, which is gonna be the, the, main, uh, the main topic today. And I'm gonna talk about Jeff Beck and Miles Davis. Here we have Miles, the, the legend, the jazz legend, and we have Jeff Beck, which we obviously miss, and he was the rock legend. And uh, it always will be, as Miles will always will be as well. So we're going to take um, Freeway Jam from Jeff Beck. We're going to talk about the melody line. Then we're going to take a song by Miles Davis called Jean-Pierre. So let's start off with the Jeff Beck. It's in the key of G, and it's a shuffle kind of... That's the groove of the song. The melody he plays is very simple, and what is so cool about it is you're looking at a very simple major pentatonic basis adding on or in one blues note, which then gives it a total different flavor and enhances that major pentatonic blues combination. So the melody starts on the root note G, and I'm playing in the G major pentatonic box. The melody is very simple, it just goes, I'll play it slow. There's that blues note. Otherwise, every note has been right out of the G major pentatonic, even adding in the fourth note of the G scale, which is not part of the pentatonic, but it's part of the G major scale. But it's still based from the major pentatonic just adding in that fourth note. So here's the lick again in time. One, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Sometimes they'll end that um, and put a little curl on that, that ending of the phrase. So you can see how that one simple blues note, and when I, when I say blues note, it's because it's coming from the G blues scale. It's the lowered seventh note of the G, uh, the G7 chord. And you say, okay, well, it's, it's, it's part of the blues area. So here's the pentatonic, adding in that blues area note of the F, and then ending on the G. So, you say, well, that's pretty interesting of how that those two worlds collide, and what a way to discover that. If you think about it and explore, as I always say, have you know, take it take it to another level. Just imagine, of course, you're playing a G major pentatonic box. Well, right next to the end of those notes is the blues box, so you can. So all of a sudden you got a, two colors hitting the fan. <laughs> now, let's go on to Miles Davis's song, Jean-Pierre. This song he does in the key of A, and what's so cool about it is the song is made up of one uh, theme, a basis, a note, bass note out of the bass guitar. There's really, there's no chordal, um, 
entity, more or less. It's very ambiguous because it just says this. Four, one, two, three. That's the whole song from start to finish. They don't leave this. And you say, well, what is that? Is it dominant? Minor? Suspended? Back to seven. It's ambiguous. You don't hear it in the song. It's okay. The melody line, once again, you're going to see how similar this is to Jeff Beck's song, who's a rockin' guy, rockin' blues guy. Then you've got Miles Davis, the true jazz legend, playing his melody. And now here's the melody. And watch how it is so closely related to what Jeff Beck did with the simple major pentatonic. So we're going to be up a whole step. A major pentatonic. Now, his melody starts blues. Blues. And that's the melody. All major pentatonic. Blues note. Blues and, and you go, wait a minute, that's just too cool. Two total different genres, styles, and yet look at how similar the notes, the theory, the scales, they all run into each other. So this is something for you to explore. And take any song you're doing and say to yourself, well, let me treat it in a major, more major -y way with the pentatonic. And just add those extra blues and note, blue notes. Or start out with the blues and play the blue scale. And then go add in the major pentatonic around that as well. So have fun with this. I'll expound more next time on uh, the playing through uh, like a simple 1-4-5 blues chord changes where we do the same thing. So for now, have fun. It's great to be back. And I'll see you next time.